are in the trenches with Dave Lappin, brought to you by First Star Logistics, the Cincinnati Bengals. Fall to the Kansas City Chiefs 23-20. Dave Lappin was on the call, and Dave, disappointment in a lot of different areas, but the Bengals are right there until the end in this one. Yeah, they were. I mean, you know, it was uh, obviously in games like this, you try to make the plays and avoid the mistakes, and obviously the Kansas City Chiefs ended up making enough plays, and the Bengals made a huge mistake uh, at the conclusion of the football game that determined the outcome of the game. But honestly, as, as the old saying goes, it never comes down to one play. I mean, Joseph Asai has been playing a hell of a football game. Had a big mistake there at the end of the football game, but, uh, you know, there were a, a myriad of plays during the course of the game, and if any one of them went a, went a different way, it would have been a different outcome uh, to the football game. So, um you know, right now, obviously, is everybody's feeling uh, very, very down about uh, the conclusion of the season. But when time to reflect and look at the body of the work for the season, 10 wins. Um, you know, played the Kansas City Chiefs off their feet in the AFC Championship game on the road. Comes down to literally the final play of the football game. Another another instant classic, another dogfight between two really good football teams. And uh, unfortunately, it didn't go the Bengals' way this time take out that first quarter and the Cincinnati Bengals were toe to toe with the chiefs. And, you know, you got to give hats off to Lou Amarumo and what they did. And then also Zach Taylor and and uh, Callahan, as far as the play calling, once they got out of that first quarter. Yeah. The problem is you got to play the first quarter, you know, and got off to a slow start and that, that put them, put them behind the eight ball and uh, trying to come back against a good football team at their place on the road in the playoffs is a, is a tough dynamic, but credit everybody. That's exactly what they did. And we talked about so many times, I mean, games are uh, adjustments and adjustments to adjustments and adjustments to those adjustments. And it goes on and on. I mean, it, it is a, it is a chess match. And I mean, you look at it, the chiefs had 42 yards on 20, 20 carries. I mean, they, they, they totally put the game in Patrick Mahomes' hands. And the guy is a great football player, 20, 29 of 43, 326 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions, quarterback rating over 105 with a bad foot, with a bad ankle, with a high ankle sprain. Are you kidding me? The legend of Patrick Mahomes will continue to grow. I mean, he's, he's, he's going to be in, he's probably already an icon. I mean, that's just a great player stepped up and, and carried his football team in a tough situation, you know, and uh, the Bengals were right there, you know, Try, overcame that 10-point deficit, never did take a lead in the football game, but they were right there down the stretch and almost took it to overtime and honestly should have taken it to overtime. I think a lot of fans are going to question some of the calls with the officials, especially the one where it looked like the Bengals had forced a fourth down and then the the, the, the far away ref no one saw in the picture came running in and couldn't hear no whistles and they end up giving the, the Chiefs another third down try. Yeah, there was, there was confusion on that play. The official claimed that he was trying to blow the play dead. He noticed there was a discrepancy between the play clock and the game clock, I guess. To this to this point, um, I, I still don't have a good explanation. Zach didn't get one. The sideline didn't get one. I mean, it, uh, there was confusion. Let's put it that way. So that third down play, that first third down play, disappears, never never shows up. They take it off take it off the books um, and, and give another another chance at it, and they, they convert. Then the Bengals, you know, three plays later, make them punt the football. So it didn't turn out to be as big a tragedy as it could have been. Uh, the Bengals did handle that adversity as well. And, and that's the thing about this football team. They're physically and mentally tough-minded. I mean, they're they're about as tough as I've seen in that regard. And uh, they just they compartmentalize adversity, move on, and uh, you know, don't 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 let it uh, don't let it fester. Uh, they just uh, they say it's over, nothing we can do about it. Let's move on to the next uh, challenge, and they you always know, step up. It's it's an amazing football team, and that's the thing. You know, um, obviously this ends in disappointment, but it doesn't it doesn't take away the ten game winning streak. Um, all the things that they did during the course of the football season that uh, made this football team special, uh, it'll stay that way. And this team's not going anywhere. You know, they'll they'll make some additions. Next year's addition will be different. It'll have you know a lot of the same players, but it'll have some new ones as well, and it'll have different combinations, different mixes of of uh, of, of personnel, and 
it'll be uh, be interesting to watch that formation and formulation. Nine, nine, just over nine minutes to go in the fourth quarter, twenty twenty tie. It looked like this was going to come down to another overtime game between these two. Yeah, more than, I mean, closer than that. And literally uh, up until the penalty, I mean, Mahomes did get a first down, running out of bounds. But you know, it was there wasn't a whole lot of time left. Uh, they had no timeouts. Uh, you know, if they had run another play, it would have been in danger of, uh, of of clock management issues. I mean, it, it, it literally came down to the to the very last uh, th- the very last play of the game, third and four from the 47 yard line. He scrambles for five yards, so it's at the 42 yard line. You're looking at a you know just under a 60 yard field goal, and then obviously the 15 yard penalty made it a big difference and was able to convert that field goal. So it, it's it's very unfortunate that the game of this magnitude came down to, again, you know, a, a mistake, you know, a mistake that, um, you know, a guy that was hustling, trying to make a play, um, and, and a team that prides itself on, you know, they were one of the fewest, least penalized teams in the league during the regular season. Uh, I think they were, in, I know they are in the top five most of the season. They may ended up number two in terms of penalties against them and in the top five in penalty yards, and they're very aware. Um, but I so lost lost his awareness where he was in the field and didn't realize he was that far out of bounds and uh, obviously 15-yard penalty. Dave, if I would have went back and asked you the night that the Bengals drafted Joe Burrow, that within three year, his first three years they'd be to two AFC championship games, what would you have said? I, I would have said that, uh, that that's that's possible looking at what he did at LSU. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's really, uh, really amazing to watch him. You talk about poise and presence and all those kind of things. He's he's made of the right stuff. There's no two ways about it. I mean, this guy is a uh, is is cool, calculated, uh, poised. Uh, you know, <laughs> you you name it. it not, nothing rattles this guy. And uh, you know, like he said, the window is open as long as he's there. Um, he's he's a unique, special football player. No two ways about it. There's there's not a whole lot of Joe Burrows walking around these streets in this country. I can tell you that. And the Bengals feel very, very fortunate to have him. There's there's no doubt. You mentioned it, how young this team is. And Zach Taylor in his post-game press conference but he said, hey, tomorrow we start back to work for next season. That That's the life of the NFL, isn't it? Yeah. I was talking to Darren Simmons and uh, Zach in the post-game show here. And, you know, I, I said, I know it's still raw, but boy, tomorrow now, what do you, I guess you have exit interviews and, talk to players about what they need to do in the off season and all that. And they're like, yeah, we were planning on getting ready for the Philadelphia Eagles. We were planning on game planning tomorrow. And so we'll figure it out and, and, uh, and go from there. But uh, that's the thing at this time of year on the one and done situation, the season, it's so dramatic when it ends. I mean, there's no, there's no easy letdown. There's no, it's like, boom, it's, it's over and it's over immediately. And the, the shock of that is, uh, is pretty, pretty, it's definitely a, a jolt to your system. There's no question about it. You're in the trenches with Dave Lappin, brought to you by First Star Logistics. Following the Bengals' last game of the season, a 20, a 23 loss to the Kansas City Chiefs in the AFC Championship game. Dave, we'll give you your last thoughts because I know you have to get on that bus to get back to Cincinnati. Yeah, it's uh, going to be a long night, short morning. We'll work our way back there and land about, uh, I guess, 2.30 in the morning, something like that. That's the plan, I guess. You know, my thoughts are that um, that this football team, um, I know, gave me a lot of enjoyment and, and, and a lot of pride. I, I think that uh, I think that the, the whole city of Cincinnati, the the whole region, the whole community, everybody rallied around this football team, and uh, that's the beauty of the NFL. That's what uh, that's what cities that have NFL franchises have NFL franchises for, and um, I do think that uh, that there's a, a lot of pride in the achievements that this team had during the course of the season. I know everybody's disappointed now. Nobody's as disappointed as the players in the locker room, though. I can tell you that right now. Uh, there's no no tougher feeling than what they're feeling right now. And my heart goes out to Joseph Asai. And, and he had a great year, and he had, he had a great game. And uh, it's unfortunate that it ended the way it did for him. But now you just got to move on. You know, you got to put it behind you. you got to rebound, and that's what this football team's all about. They, they do rebound. They do compartmentalize. They do move on. They are... Uh, tough-minded. They are physically tough, and that's not going anywhere. They're, they're built of the right stuff. A lot of guys in this football team, the coaching staff, players, they're made of the right stuff. So 
they'll they'll be around a while. They'll be they'll be back. It's not over. Hard to believe this was our final Dave Lappin post game thoughts of the season. Again, the Bengals fall 20 to 23 to the Kansas City Chiefs. And for Dave, I, I want to thank First Star Logistics for providing this opportunity to be part of this. And uh, Dave, I, I know this coming week we'll be back on the grind as far as in the trenches there at the First Star Logistics Studios. No off time for us right now. But uh, again, we can't say enough about what the folks at First Star Logistics do for us. Yeah, there's no question. They give us a, a tremendous platform to try to try to do some good things, and uh, hopefully people uh, appreciate what we're trying to what we're trying to do and provide another uh, another aspect to their football entertainment. And that's the goal. So we'll continue. We'll, we'll march on. March on, Dave. Here we go. And Dave, safe travels back to Cincinnati. We'll see you this week. You got it. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. At First Star Logistics, we're a very strict company that really puts the pressure on our employees. Brakes? What are those? That's what I'm talking about, Icky. Get the body right, then the mind's right. You know, yeah. you know you gotta get that body right. That's right. right. Yes, sir. Become a star with a chance to earn the highest commission percentages in the industry as a freight broker agent. Check out FirstStarLogistics.com.